In this video, we want to talk about how to create a new folder or how to make a new directory in Python programming language. So please stay tuned. And now let's talk about the first approach, which is using the relative path. And for example, suppose that in my H drive, I have a folder called YouTube. And inside this folder, I want to create a folder called folder 01. So first of all, let's copy this path. So I copy this path. And then I want to change the current working directory to that folder because I want to create folders inside that place, inside that location. So first of all, I should import the OS package. It stands for operating system. And then I simply type os.changeDirectory because I want to change the current working directory to that, to that folder. So that's it. I pass that. And remember that you should put R before this string. It means raw text. It means consider this text as it is. Because if you don't put this, you should convert all the backslashes into two backslashes. Or the other way of doing it is to convert all backslashes with slashes. So the easiest way of doing it is putting R before this string means raw text, means consider this text as it is. So as you can see in this line, we are changing the current working directory to that folder. And inside this folder, I want to create a folder called folder 01. So I simply type os.mkdir means make directory. It means you want to create a folder, a create a directory. And the name of that directory is going to be folder 01. So if I run the code and if I go to that folder, you can see we have created a folder called folder 01 inside this location. But now let's talk about another approach, which is the absolute path approach. So again, we want to create another folder, let's say called folder 02 inside this location. So first of all, let's copy this path. That's it. And let's go to Python. And here, I want to create a directory. So I simply type os.mkdir, make directory, I mean. And then I should pass the absolute path. So here's the path for that location. And inside this location, I want to create a folder called folder02, or whatever name you want. This is an arbitrary name. And again, remember to put R as well. That's it. So if I run the code again, and if I go to that folder, you can see now we have created another folder, which is called folder 02. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.